all right what is up youtube so today i'm going to be filming a clean and declutter with me so we're going to start off in the closet which i do share with my husband and my baby girl i'm going to start off by taking out everything i don't wear or haven't worn in a while or anything i don't plan on wearing so everything that i'm getting rid of i'm going to be putting into this cardboard box and everything else that's on the floor and I'm keeping, I'm gonna be hanging up and folding. I honestly feel like I didn't even end up decluttering a lot of my closet. So I'm gonna have to go back and do a major declutter in there for sure. I really can't believe how fast babies grow out of their clothes, but here we are decluttering my baby girl's clothes, which she has already grown out of and will probably be replacing with bigger sizes. So there is our closet all nice and clean and we'll see how long that lasts. It's really been a minute that I've cleaned my restroom. We're going to start off in the sink area. I'm going to take everything off my sink down and we're gonna just scrub everything down and then wipe it i'm also going to go ahead and wipe our cabinets and drawers just making sure everything's clean since sometimes we'll have like toothpaste on there or whatever and it's the restroom so it can get kind of dirty sometimes here i'm just putting everything back and trying to make my stuff look organized it usually ends up looking very cluttered which i don't like but at the moment this is what i have so my bathtub and my shower i usually just pour some bleach in there scrub let it soak and then kind of scrub again and then just rinse it off with water i honestly feel like to get it as clean as possible you have to use bleach so i love using bleach when it comes to the restroom just to get everything as clean as possible i do like to scrub my bathtub and shower with the broom i don't know if that's weird to some people but i just think it's a good hack i also like to use the eraser sponges just to get into the smaller areas like in the door or around the sink Then we're just going to sweep all the trash out and mop again with bleach and water to make everything very clean. We're going to be moving on to my bedroom and my room isn't that dirty. I mean, we have like a bunch of laundry and toys laying everywhere. But other than that, I think that's it. Um, I am going to start off by opening up the curtains just to let some light in in the morning. It gets really nice just letting that natural sunlight in here. So I am going to be changing my sheets. And the good thing about having two pairs of sheets is that once you go ahead and take off your dirty ones, you can put your clean ones on right away. You don't have to wait for them to wash or anything. So picking up laundry, that dirty laundry that we have just laying around in our room that we haven't picked up. When 
my vacuum, I also like making those little triangles that you can form on the carpet. They are very satisfying to make and also very satisfying to see when you walk into your room. I'm also putting some diapers and just organizing her little cart that she has next to her crib with her diapers and her wipes. laundry room I am gonna go ahead and do a load of laundry while I clean everything up since I am kind of behind on my laundry so while my clothes is washing I'm gonna fold all of these blankets and extra sheets that I have and I'm going to be putting them at the top of these wires on top of the washer and dryer <music> All of this laundry on the floor is my boys clothes so I'm just going to be picking and choosing everything that they don't wear and I'm gonna be putting it up usually pants and jackets because again it is getting warm so they won't be using that for a while and I'm just gonna sweep and mop and there we go a clean laundry room Here is our messy living room and I'm gonna start off just by wiping off our surfaces. I'm also gonna be decluttering the baby's toys. I am just taking out all the toys that she doesn't really pay attention to and putting those away. I'm going through our TV stand, wiping everything down on the inside, and just organizing our cables and all our extra stuff that we have. Here we have another load of laundry that I'm going to be putting up, and I'm trying to get into the baseboards and you know, just wipe them down to have them clean since they're kind of dusty, they haven't been touched in a while. And I'm getting the light switches as well since they do get kind of dirty in the kitchen i'm gonna start off by organizing our junk drawer which has turned very junky so all of our documents and just all of these papers like the that the kids will bring from school i'm going through them and getting rid of the stuff that we don't really need I'm organizing their books and books that they haven't used in a while. I am getting rid of those. I'm wiping everything down and organizing out all of our markers and pencils so the kids can get to them easily. And I'm moving on and just washing some dishes that I had in the sink taking everything off the countertop to kind of be able to wipe everything down. So I usually like to scrub everything and then go back and wipe everything. So here I am scrubbing and then just coming back and spraying everything and wiping down the counters. balloons that are hanging on the wall I actually end up taking them down they were from my baby girl's first birthday party so they were so pretty I didn't want to take them down and now they are in the trash so I'm starting off by taking everything out of our cabinets I am starting under our kitchen sink I'm taking everything out and wiping it down and then just putting it back and organizing it a, it a little more I 
will say our Tumbleware section is just very messy and I don't know why it usually gets like that but it does <laughs> so here we are organizing all the lids I try to put the lids on top and then the containers on the bottom section my baby girl had her own cabinets so I'm taking everything out since she doesn't really use a lot of stuff anymore she is one now and I'm putting all her snacks in the pantry and her medicine in the pantry. I have all of these little kind of baby gadgets that she doesn't use and I'll be decluttering. I'm just keeping her bottles here and her plates and bibs and taking everything out of the cabinet. Most of the stuff I got from baby registry gifts so I just kept just in case I thought I would need them and I didn't really use any of it so I'm getting rid of that and I'm moving all of our cups up there because they're kind of crowded in the bottom area <music> And this is what everything ended up looking like, all organized and put back into its place where it belongs. So going back to our drunk drawer area, I had a lot of craft stuff at the top of the cabinets. So here I'm just taking everything out and I'm gonna find somewhere else to put that. Since this is where we keep most of our supplements, I'm just going through and making sure nothing is expired and I'm throwing away all of our empty bottles and just organizing it a little more. So this is the end and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!